Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming another P.O. Box unboxing haul video because I did one of these last month and you guys seem to really enjoy it and you said that you'd like me to do more of them so I have gathered together another month's worth of P.O. Box stuff but I haven't opened any of it yet, it's all still in its little packages so I thought it would be fun to unbox it on camera with you guys. So before I start, give this video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy these videos and you would like me to keep doing them. I'll try and do one every month if I can. So yeah, give it a thumbs up to let me know that you'd still like that. And yeah, I'm just gonna get straight on with it. Right, I'm gonna start off with this little guy here. Got a little purple package. I have no idea what's inside. So yeah, I think this one I've had for the longest. This was like back towards the start of January. So <laughs> it might not be that new anymore, but these are the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. God, what a mouthful. So yeah, they've sent me three different shades of this concealer. I've got Warm, Fair, Warm, uh, Fair, Warm, Fair neutral and light neutral. This one looks like it will probably be a bit too, well, no, a lot too dark for me. But these two look like they will probably be a good match. So let's just have a look at one of them to see what it looks like. Have I ever owned anything from Urban Decay before? I actually don't think I have. I think this is my first Urban Decay product ever. Ooh, swanky. Ooh, wow. It looks like the collection last infection one but fancy version because it's urban decay so i'm very excited to give that a go it does look like it'll be a nice color match so yeah definitely gonna have to try that out soon okay i'm gonna do the small ones first and then i'm gonna move on to the big boys afterwards so i've got this little silver one here look at that bag look at it go and i think i know who this one's from well i do know who it's from because it says it on it well done it's from coconut lane and they let me choose some more things recently so I actually do kind of know what's in this one. If you don't know, I do have a discount code with Coconut Lane. I'll leave it on the screen right now and you can use it on any of these things or on like anything on their whole website and it gets you 20% off. I'm pretty sure it is. This isn't sponsored by the way, but I'm just letting you know that I do have the code. And yeah, I chose some of their pins and I also chose one of their new pens. Let me show you the pen first. It's so cute. It's like a little rose gold pen and then the top of it's kind of got that shaky glitter stuff, you know, like the phone cases have. That is a very nice pen. Like that is the cutest pen ever, ever, ever. So had to go for that. And then I also chose some of their little badges or pins, whatever you want to call them, because I thought you guys might like them. And I went for the little donut, which is very cute. I chose the pink heart sunglasses, a little flamingo, and then also, I think this one's my favorite. It's so cute. It's a, is it like an alpaca or like a strange sheep? I don't really know. I think it's an alpaca, but they have loads of different things on there. They're not all pink, but yeah, these are the ones that I chose and I think they are adorable. Like they look so cute on like a denim jacket or on a bag or something like that, like on a rucksack. Okay, so I'm gonna open this one next. <gasps> oh, it's from Benefit. I think it's their new mascara. It is, it's their new mascara. Yay, this is exciting. I really wanted to try it. I've watched quite a few people's like videos of the new Benefit mascara and it looks so good, like so good. So <gasps> I'm really excited for this. Oh, I haven't even shown you and I'm whacking it out. Okay, <laughs> sorry. It comes in this box which looks very fat, 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 looks very fancy. And it says something hashtag out of this world is here. You've got the mascara, something just moved. So you've got the box here that it's supposed to come in and then the mascara is here and oh no. Oh, it's like a rubbery packaging thing. Like, ah, oh, that's, I like the feel of stuff like this. Oh, yeah, okay. And it's got like a knobbly lid, like, wow, it's like studded. It just looks really cool. Like as far as mascaras go, this looks pretty cool. And have I said what it's called? Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I'm sure you guys know already, like everyone's been talking about it. So that looks like quite a nice wand as well. I'm so excited to give this a go and hopefully it will make my lashes look fab. Okay, I think there was something else in the black bag oh yeah there's another little thing in here and i think it's another mascara it is so this is the boom lash oh it's from iconic london i was like who is this by let's have a look at the wand i've got so many mascaras to try this is exciting it's tiny i think i'm gonna like this especially for like bottom lashes and stuff like that is a really nice wand. Okay, so this one's a bit of a big boy. It feels pretty weighty actually. I think there's like quite a few things in here because it feels flipping heavy. Wow, that is a lot of, what are you? <laughs> oh, I was gonna say a lot of lipsticks, but they're not. 
Okay, so I've got a bag full of Barry M Crushed Jewel Cream Eyeshadows. So we've got a couple of like really dark ones, like a dark purpley one, and then a load of like bronzy ones. Gotta love a good old bit of Barry M, ain't ya? Oh, it's like a little tangle teaser. This one looks so cute. I love them. I love how they're like <laughs> this. Oh, it, it says girls all over it girls in a heart oh the heart looks cute um anyway <laughs> and it's in a really nice lilac color so this is a very cute tangle teaser brush and um, i would use it a bit but there we go little demo for you a little cheeky demo i'm still going through this bag like i told you it felt heavy there's so many little bits in it we've got another bag it says model zone on it i think there's gonna be well, I don't think, I'm pretty like 100% certain there's gonna be a load of model zone makeup in here, which is very exciting. Are these more concealers? <gasps> there's a lot of like new concealers floating around at the moment. It's very exciting. So this is the model zone cover it concealer. Wow. They've sent me it and I'm pretty sure every single shade, which is very generous. I think the only one that's gonna work for me is this one, but obviously I will find a home for all of these. I will make sure they don't go to waste. So it's in like a little skinny, like white packaging thing. Great description. And then, there he is, here he comes. It's quite like a thick consistency, I think. Like that's, that's really thick. I feel like that will be really full coverage because it's so thick. Okay. Who remembers when my favourite eyeshadow palette was the Model Zone Barely There palette? It's the one I used to always use. Like, this is the Model Zone Barely There number two palette. The moment of truth. Ooh, oh goodness. Oh goodness, that was a very close up look in the mirror of my face. I wasn't expecting that. And yeah, you've just got a mixture of like matte shades and shimmery shades. And they're all just quite like bronzy and I don't know the sort of things that I would use so I think I'll definitely be enjoying this little fella and then we've also got what looks like yeah a setting oh a primer and a setting spray two in one prime and setting spray it's the model zone one night stand spray <laughs> it's a little setting spray that's also a primer so I'll definitely have to give that a go definitely have to give that a go as well what do we have here then oh we're getting stuck what is this it says juno and co on it and it's just a black box this is such a mystery i have no idea what's in here like beauty products starting at one dollar i think we're in so we've got some makeup brushes in here this is exciting oops i don't think i was meant to do that i think maybe maybe that way that was so satisfying a little netted pouch for it. Ooh, they're actually pretty soft. <laughs> Smell a bit funny, but they're really soft. And yeah, these are, I'm assuming they're by Juno and Co. You've got a fan brush, a little eyeshadow brush, like a soft, fluffy eyeshadow brush. We've got some more in this netting stuff. What's it gonna be? Ooh, kind of like a powdery brush, I think. I'm literally making this up. I'm probably getting it all wrong. Uh, another one, that one looks like it's exactly the same, is it? No, hey, what? And then we've also got the Juno Fusion sponge. That feels like nothing like a normal sponge that's like a really weird texture can you guys see it's like really fuzzy like kind of like a fuzzy felt material on it that's so weird but it feels really nice i'm excited to give this a go that is so different to like my normal sponge so yeah i think that would be really cool to try out and then more i think these are all the same oh a little card oh and there's something else no there's not that's just part of the box <laughs> Oh, and there's someone else. No, so me. That is literally part of the box. But we do have a card. Let's have a look. Oh, so it says, hello, lovely on it. Your package arrived. Yay. We can't wait to see all the beautiful looks you create with your Juno and Co goodies. Okay, so that was everything in this parcel. I've got another one that's also pretty damn big. Okay, I can see a lot of makeup in here. And it looks like it's all from the same brand. I've never heard of this brand, but there's a load of makeup in here from c.y.o okay so it is it's a new makeup brand called cyo now available at boot stores and at boots.com so that's exciting it looks like it's quite affordable as well it says prices start at three pounds so there we go there is a new makeup brand out maybe i'll have to do a video testing all of this there's so much stuff we've got i don't even know what that is illuminating mixing cream what does that mean well, maybe it's a primer and then we've also got a foundation We've also got, oh, another mixing cream. Wow. 
This is a metallic eyeshadow. The like actual product is like rippled. So like it's not like flat. I don't know if you guys can see. Wow, and it's in this like amazing metallic -y copper color. We've got a contour highlight and blush palette. So we've got a palette. We've got a contour stick. This looks like a highlighting palette thing. Looks very cool. We've got some loose powder. We've got another mascara to try out. Oh my goodness, mascaras are everywhere. And I've also got a little lipstick. Oh, let's have a look. Got a bright red lipstick, geez. I found something else. I found, oh, what's this? So they've also sent across not only like a metallic -y eyeshadow, but this is a little matte eyeshadow as well. This looks like a good new brand. Like I'm really chuffed. We have in here, <gasps> Highlighters, we have highlighters. They are, oh, I didn't know they had new ones. These are some of the MUA Undress Your, is that what they're called? Yeah, Undress Your Skin Highlighters, but they've brought out three new shades, which is really exciting. So available from the 28th of Feb. They're not quite out yet, but they will be out soon apparently. And they look like this. Look at that one. That would definitely be too dark for me, but look how pretty it is. It's like a purpley bluey toned highlighter. And then we've also got this pinky highlighter. This one I think I'm most excited about. It's like a silvery highlighter. These highlighters are so good and they look so pretty in the packaging, don't they? They're like swirly and like, I don't know, they just look so cool. And we've also got a little pink box. I have no idea what this is. There's no like paper or anything to go with it. So... This is a big surprise. Let's have a look inside. Okay, so this is from Valentine's Day. It says, happy Valentine's Day. A little pink treat from your gals at Dowell Walker because on Wednesdays we wear pink. Love the Dowell Walker team. I've never heard of these. I can smell nice things in it. Wow. I'm gonna struggle to hold it up, but it's, it's filled with like little, um, like smelly flowery bits. Oh, that's what I could smell, obviously. And I'm seeing something here that excites me very, very much because it's an actual beauty blender. So as you guys know, I always use my like Real Techniques sponge, but I've never tried an official beauty blender one. So this is very exciting. I'm so excited to give it a go. Hallelujah. Wow. He is, or she is soft and it's luminous. That is bright pink. That's a squidgy one. Oh my God. I've got a Real Beauty Blender. I'm moving up in the world. Look at me go. So I've got a couple of products from Paul and Joe. I've never heard of this before. I've got a compact. What's a what's a compact? It's like so pretty and cute. So this is oh I see. It's just like a little mirror, like a little compact mirror. I get it. Oh, I see. So like I've put it back away now, but these are like designed to slot in the compact because there was a little space under the mirror. So you've got a little powder blush and like half of it's pale pink, half of it's like a deeper ready pink. So that's interesting. We've also got something from Stila. I don't think I've ever had anything from them either. Have I? I feel like you guys probably remember better than me. I don't think I've ever used anything from them. This is a watercolor blush. So it just looks like this. That is a very like bright color for a blush. I feel like I would definitely struggle to use this, but at the same time, I really want to give it a go. It's runny and wet and dripped onto the blanket beneath me. This is why I film sat, sat on a blanket. So it's like a liquid. It's literally like watercolor paint. We've also got a, oh, ow. come back legs. We've also got a Roger and Gallet Rose Opa perfume basically. Oh, it's a little perfume. Oh my gosh, that is such a nice little box. Like on the back, box? Is that really a box? I don't think so. Such a nice little bottle. It's got like this little printed rose pattern on the back, which has like a nice little texture to it. I love that. A by Terry. Pretty sure that's quite a swanky brand and I don't know what it is. It says it's a click stick. Ooh, it looks like it's a lip product and you like... <laughs> you like click it up. See, I love things like this. That's so fun. And it's like a kind of, whoa. I did not expect that to come out like that. That is so creamy and smooth and pigmented, like, whoa. It's like a deep kind of pinky color, but like a really nice pink, actually. I really like that. And then lastly, we've got a bit of Marc Jacobs. <laughs> Swanky. We've got a bit of Marc Jacobs. This is a lip gloss, I think. It's definitely a lip gloss. So this is like a pinky color 
and yeah, little Mark Jacobs lip gloss, geez. This is such a nice box. Like, who are these people? They are so generous to put all of those things in a box. I mean, that was very kind of them. I'm very grateful that they sent all of that over. I think that's everything in the pink bag. Yeah, that was everything in the pink bag. This turned up at my door. <laughs> back at like the start of January and I do know what it is obviously like I opened the box and I've seen what it is I haven't like done it yet I haven't whacked the pinata um because I wanted to save it for this video but I feel like this video's gotten so long now the last thing you want to watch is me whack a pinata so I might just like see if I can see it out of the top and it also came with like a, a a wacky stick as well, Whatever, a wacky stick. You know what I mean, like to whack the pinata. I didn't know there were gonna be sweets in there. This is so cheating. I'm just gonna have a peek, but I am gonna whack it later, I think. I'm gonna whack it later. But <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just grab the foundations. Oh, there's so many sweets in there. Like, yes, this makes me very happy. Okay, so there are three of the foundations in there. Let me just get one out for you guys to show you. Yeah, so this is the EX1 Invisiwear foundation. And I think this was because they had released their products in yeah in boots and that was back on the 17th of january so they've been in there for a while now but you can now buy these products in boots and they've sent me a few of their foundations along with a load of sweets in a pinata how flipping cool is that there's more than just sweets in there i, I couldn't resist i'm having a good old look there's a tiny little like makeup sponge in there that would be so good for like around your eyes there's also some glow sticks oh is that a slinky flipping slink oh my goodness a slinky is back in my life i'm so happy <laughs> a load of sweeties and stuff like that we've got like oh how like retro a ring pop or a fizzy roll thing a burger sweet that is so this is like my childhood oh my god maybe that's what they've done they've put like old school sweets in it and like a slinky and like glow sticks this is so like 90s oh my goodness a yo-yo well, now I know what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day. Like, <laughs> I need to go. I need to go and tidy everything up and use my yo-yo and my slinky and stuff like that and eat a load of sweets. So yeah, thank you so much to all of the brands that sent me stuff. Like my mind is blown. I feel like this one was insane. Like, ah, it's crazy, isn't it? So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you want me to do another one next month or the month after or something like that. Just let me know if you want more of these videos and I'll definitely do that because it was really fun to like open it with you guys instead of just on my own. Yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye. I'll be over here.